All right, you've watched the two first videos, you have an understanding of the general workflow of Substance 3D Painter, you understand the basic UI. Now it's time for you to start importing your models and beginning to work. When you first open Substance 3D Painter, you're faced with the blank screen, right? Just an empty window here. You wanna be able to put your 3D model in here. Um, you have a couple options. So let's say that you don't have a 3D model ready and you just wanna practice some of these techniques. The easiest way to get a model in here is just go to File, Open Sample, and I would recommend this Meat Mac character. I like this one a lot. So you can open up this character and immediately it's plopped right here in the middle of the scene and I can begin painting on this. I wanna take a moment uh, real quick before I start talking about the other modeling types to just talk about how you navigate around this space. So the easiest way to do it is to hold down either your Alt or Option key, whether if you're on a Mac or a PC. And you can see if you do that down here, you get a dialog box that opens up that tells you exactly what you should be doing. So you can see the Alt left mouse button allows you to rotate around the object. The Alt middle mouse button allows you to translate around and look at things that way. And then the Alt right mouse button is like a zoom in and out. Another key thing about navigating the space is that you'll often like, sometimes you'll kind of land over here and be like way off in the, in the distance and you'll kind of like lose track of where your model is. If you just hit the F key, F is in Frankfurter, you'll be able to recenter everything. It just, re after, F is actually for framing because it just reframes everything back in the middle. So just some very handy hotkeys that you'll be using a lot. Okay, so this is one way of, of getting a base model in here. But let's say you are looking for, you know, I, I have my ball man that I've got downloaded and I'm ready to import that. A common mistake in Substance Painter is to go up to File and say, I want to open a new model. You say File and you click Open. What it's going to do is <clears throat> you're going to go and you're going to say, man, I know I've got my um, ball man model here and I'm only seeing that bottle I created before. You know, where the heck is my model? How do I get that in? That's because when you're opening, what Substance 3D Painter is looking for is an existing painter file. It's not looking for models. In order to import a new model, you'll say File New. And what it does is it brings up this dialog box. Um, for new users, this can be intimidating. You're like, what are all these settings? Literally for 99% of the use cases that I bring it in, I only need to do one thing. Go to File, Select, and then just select the model that I want, this ball man high. And that's it. And then I can click OK, and it brings it right in. That's all you have to worry about. For the more advanced users, you'll see that I can select this and now I have more options. Um, so the top one is uh, the template. There's different uh, material types that you can uh, use throughout this process. We'll talk more about that later, but just know that that can be changed at any point during the process. Same thing with this document resolution. Um, this is, you know, basically how high of a resolution you're creating from your texture map. So we'll explain that more a little bit later too. The normal map format is just, if you're exporting this to like a game engine, many of those use direct X normal map format versus OpenGL. Again, if you're a new user, don't worry about any of this stuff. You can fast forward through this part. Um, if you're using UDIMs, uh, you can see that you can check this and you can you can use UDIMs, which are like multiple tiles to get more detail in. Um, in the process. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to is this cannot be changed later because everything else, for the most part, you can, um, pretty much everything above this line can be changed throughout the process. Everything below this line, for the most part, uh, you're, it, it's pretty much baked into it once you do it. Um, you can import cameras if you have a camera in your, in your other 3D scene. Um, auto unwrap. So I'll explain this in just a second, but basically we have a function with options that allows you to automatically unwrap texture maps for your object if it's not already done properly in the application that was uh, used to create it, used to create the 3D model. Uh, importing baked ma uh, maps. Uh, there, If you have a, uh, maps already baked out for your object, you can bring those in. Physical size, you know, usually you just want to use the, the model's actual size that you model it at. If you want to change the unit scale on that, you can do that here. 
Um, and then color management for the super advanced users, if you want to use uh, Adobe ACE format or you know Open I Open Color IO uh, Aces, whatever you can you can do that down there as well. But again, reiterating, new users don't listen to any of that. All you got to do open this, click file, what you want, and import. Okay, cool. So we've got this in here, and the other thing that I wanted to cover, other than just like navigating around the space and bringing your object into the scene. Um, I did want to talk about what file formats you can use. Uh, we've got a long list, but the, the basic ones you can use like FBX, OBJ, um, Alembic, or USD files can be brought into Substance Painter. For the most up-to-date information, I would recommend going to the uh, Substance Painter documentation, and you can see the full list that could be imported because I'm sure those will be changing uh, pretty rapidly. So I'll put a link to that down below this video as well. And the last thing that I wanted to point out is that if, let's say you didn't want to use the ball man, let's say you didn't want to use that sample file and you wanted to find your own 3D model, I would recommend checking out the Substance 3D Asset Library. As part of your license, you'll get a certain amount of downloads per month. And you can see that there's a bunch of models here that if you just click this section, uh, you can go through. All of these are set up very well for Painter and they should they should work pretty well out of the box. But just know that you can go here and then just click download and download one of these models and import that in the Substance Painter if you would like a balloon arch or a chemistry kit or your own lovely birthday cake or men's jogger pants. We've got all the things. Um, so go ahead and download that and import that there. All right, cool. So next, uh, in the next video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about um, the UVs and, and the individual texture maps and kind of what's going on under the surface when you're working with a 3D object. We're going to demystify all that scary stuff. So uh, we'll get into that in the next lesson.